Well, if it isn't Mr. Hollywood himself. What's up, man? Ain't you supposed to be doing a film down already, bitch? Ah, uh, you know, man. It was good. <laughs> you missed a lot of shit since you've been gone. Yo, don't tell me. I already know all what happened. Tommy finds out who his father is, which is Teresi. Ray Ray kills Reyna. And Dre is the biggest snake. <coughs> Yo, why'd he shoot? Hey, you wanna get it too? No. Tell me where I have to sit. It all starts with Teresi waking up from his sleep after a night with Tasha. Tasha's not in the bed, and as soon as he gets up, Ghost is there. And Ghost is asking him, well, have you heard anything from Proctor? What's been going on? And he's like, nope, I haven't heard nothing at all. And at that moment, Ghost discovers an earring, and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I can explain. And this is how it all went down. So you haven't heard anything? No, no, not at all. All right, well, I'll see myself. Hey, I didn't know you had a lady. No, you know how it is these days. Oh, it looks a lot like my wife's. Where the fuck you think you're going? Come here! I wouldn't want to be touristy right now. So then Tommy and Dre are talking at the warehouse. Dre is asking him if they're still going to be going to war. And Tommy's like, well, I've, I've been waiting for an answer and I haven't heard anything. So tell him that bodies are going to drop. So then Ghost and the real estate guy, they meet up in the old hood. The guy's telling him, hey, I get a there's one more person that we have to bring. Someone that you saved from the hood. And out comes Dre, Snoopy Ed. And at first, Ghost is complying while he's there. And then as soon as he leaves, Ghost grabs him and is like, hey, what the fuck you think you're doing? You know I hate surprises. And Dre's like, whoa. He said it would be a good image. But he need to talk to Tommy. And he's like, why? He's like, Tommy think of going to war with the Herman. And this is not going to be good. He's like, yeah, you damn right it ain't going to be good. Where's Tommy now? So then Tommy's at Kate's house, trying to figure out who is Teresi. His mom's playing bullshit, it's just like, Teresi? Um, I don't know Teresi. And your dad, you don't remember the story? I, I, your dad died. Tommy's like, bullshit. And she's like, well, the person that is telling you about Teresi or whatever, he's lying to you. Stay away from him. And Tommy doesn't stay away. So Tommy then goes to Sarah's house. And Tommy's just basically being a good old gentleman from across the town, trying to get to know her a bit, saying like, oh, um, Teresa looks real young here. And she's like, yeah, yeah, you know, you want the whiskey? He's like, yeah, I love whiskey. She goes to get the whiskey and he steals a baby put photo out of the album. And as soon as he gets what he wants, he takes the drink, drinks, and leaves. So then Tommy's back at Kate's house with the photo this time. And he's like, well, this is me and my pops. Teresi, before we move to Queens, what's going on? And don't lie to me. And Kate's just like, okay, okay, Teresi's your father. But look, he left. And Tommy's just angry, smashing everything on sight and runs away like he was a little kid. And Kate's all sad, so then she goes and visits Teresi in prison. And she's just telling him, stay the fuck away from my son. He's been in enough pain. Stay away from him. So then Donovan, Sax, and Angela meet up. They're at their, her house. And they're trying to figure out how to capture Mike Sandoval. Donovan's like, well, Mike went to my house, saw my kids, and told them to tell him that he wasn't there. Now, why would he say that? And Sax is like, well, even if Mike was the mole, how are we gonna prove it? And she's like, well, I got a phone that I burned that basically said that he was in the same building when the call was being made to Lobos. And he's like, how's that gonna prove anything? And where'd you get the phone? She's like, well, where'd you get the phone? Exactly, how are you gonna prove that? And she's like, look, I know that it looks bad, but I'm telling you, he's the mole. Cause we all know Donovan ain't the mole. You already know I ain't the mole. And you ain't the mole. So who is the mole? And then Sax is just like, okay, whatever. So then Sax meets up with Mike. They're talking. And Mike doesn't seem comfortable because now he's starting to know that Angela's closing in on the case. So he says, I gotta go. I, I don't feel like drinking. Sax knows where he's going. And they set this whole thing up. So when Mike goes to the house, 
Angela's like, hey, that was unexpected, come in. Mike comes in, doesn't want to drink, and he's like, Angela, I know what you're trying to do. And it ain't gonna work. And just like, well, you're the one that set everything up. You're the one that killed Greg. See these photos right here? You were right at that spot. When you were trying to meet up with someone, he's like, oh, that's just me doing another case. And let me just put it all together. When you, you, when Greg found out, you went over there, tried to confront him about it, and when he didn't comply, you killed him. And Mike's like, you're right. And she's like, what did he have on you? And he's like, my little girl. But I can't let you take me in. And Mike points the gun at her. And while this is all going on, Sax, Dickhole John, and Donovan are all spying on them. Realizing that Mike is the mole. And Donovan's like, no, I'm not going to stand there and let Angela get killed. We're going in. And Dickhead John is just like, well... Sax, you stay there and listen to everything. So, Mike has the guns like, yo, you should have stayed out of my fucking business. Now turn around. And as Angela turns around, he's saying, this is how it's gonna go. I confronted you about you being with James St. Patrick. We had a tussle, and then I shot you. Self-defense. And Angela's like, how's it gonna be self-defense if I'm turned around? And at that moment, Angela comes and shoots Mike in the chest. Not where the heart is, but it's right here. And Mike goes down and Angela's like, hey, really? Look what I have. Shows him a mic. And she says, FBI agents are going to come bust in any second. You better comply with me. Otherwise, Rikers Island for you. Tommy goes meet up at Manhattan Bridge. And Ghost is like, so you want to go to a horror with her man? Tommy's then just talking about his dad like, nah, you know, I terrorized might be my dad. And Ghost is like, oh, really? He's like, yeah. Did you know? He's like, no. And you guys must have blue eyes, but anyway, you can't go to war with Hernandez. Tommy's like, well, I can't keep waiting until they plan A, give the, the territories that I asked for, or B, try to kill us both. Tommy, and Ghost is like, well, what do you expect me to do? Do what you always do. I need you to meet up with me to talk about the deal. And Ghost is like, I can't do that. I can't do that. I just came out of jail. And Tommy's like, well, I can't go by myself. That would look bad. I look like a pussy. And Ghost is like, fine, I'll come. So then Ghost and Tommy meet up with the Hernandez. And they're talking about a deal that Tommy had asked for. And Ghost is like, listen, let's just cut to the chase. You give us the territories, we won't leak your secret. And you know what I'm talking about. The secret that you guys killed Lobos and we all know that you guys didn't. We can go out in the streets and say that you are fraud. Say that we did and your fear, the fear for you guys will be gone. And he, the guy just doesn't like that. So he just points the gun on the ground and he's just like, you know, we can do it this way. And the girl's like, whoa, 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 easy. We'll give you an answer by tomorrow. Ghost is like, oh, you better. And walks off. So then Ghost and Tommy get back in the car and where Dre is and Dre's like, so what's the news? Ghost is like, right now, we're getting a deal place. And Tommy's saying, if the deal don't happen tomorrow, we're going to war. Dre then meets up with the Hernandez later on. And Dre's trying to tell him that, hey, let's not go to war right now. I can get you the hotels and everything and sell every single drug in New York. They're like, why should we listen to you? You're going against them. Why should we listen to you? We could just, we could just kill you right now. And Dre's like, I have the hotels. We can sell it everywhere. Guy's like, okay. You better do what you say because if you don't, I'll kill you myself. And Dre is now really in a panic because he really put himself in a big hole. So as that's going on. So Teresi's hanging out with the homies. Selling cookies. And Tyree is there telling him that he used to be a backstroke swimmer and he's going to college. And the lady's all amazed. So they, she lets him in. No, no, no suspects, nothing. And as soon as Ty uh, Tyreek gets in, Ray, Ray, and Brain rush in. And they go beat her down. It's like, yo, don't move or we'll kill you. And they bring her upstairs. And they beat on Tyreek a little bit. But he's like, oh, he's just part of the game. And then as Tyreek is wondering what's going on, Ray Ray is on top of the girl, getting ready to get, get it on. And Tyreek is like, Brain, tell him to stop. 
that moment right there, Ranger Ray looked at him like, you should not have said that. And they kill the girl right there and there. And Tyreek runs. He's running, running, hiding, scared for his life. Like, oh my God, I just witnessed a murder. And Brains is trying to call him and Tyreek ain't answering the phone and he's realizing that the thug life ain't for him. And he's going back to being the square ways as he runs and hides. And as he gets home, Ghost is talking with one of Stern's associates and, and, and he's like, Tyreek, this, I mean, it's like, Tyreek, come here, come here, come here. I need you to meet someone. This is the, is the man right here for retail. And retail guy, whoever you are, this is my son. Lawrence Tate, this is my son. And Tyreek suggested that I want to switch who. And Ghost is like, why do you want to switch who, boy? He's like, they have to be basically saying so. And goes like, well, we'll talk about it in the morning. But this is good to meet. And Lawrence Tate's like, good to meet you, boy. And Tyreek went to go to bed. Mike is in prison, getting interviewed by Dickhead John, or just John Mack. And John Mack is asking him, like, why, man? Why, Mike? Why? And Mike's like, you're going to give me my collateral and give me what I want. Otherwise, I'm going to tell everyone that Lobo was all in the case and you were involved and it will fuck your career up. Pick your choice. And John's just like, fine. After Mike gets arrested, Angela then goes to Terry's office and tells him all about Mike being arrested. And Terry says that he'll deliver the news immediately. He goes over to James St. Patrick's house and tells him that the real mole's been arrested and now the case is closed. James is happy, jumping for joy with Tasha. And as James St. Patrick leaves, Silver gets all flirty with and I mean, Tasha. And Tasha's just like, well, you know, things are a little complicated, but we can go to dinner tonight. Terry's like, of course. I'll see you later. Couldn't kiss her, of course, because they did. And <laughs> Ghost would have murdered both of them. Ghost. Tommy and Proctor all meet up talking about how they're gonna get rid of Mike. And Proctor's like, well, you can't just break in. It would look crazy. And Tommy's like, well, I know one person, Teresi. He can help us. Ghost's like, are you sure, man? You put me in a lot of shit just to get you and him to talk. And Tommy's like, no worries, I got you. So then Tommy and talk calls Teresi and Teresi's like, oh, I thought you forgot about me, son. Tommy's like, I need your help. Like, well, if this father your advice, I can give you that. Like, well, I need you to kill someone for me. Trace like, who? As that call happened, Mike just had surgeries, putting on his prison uniform, looking at his photo, wondering if things could have gone another way. And as soon as the doctor came back, stabs him in the neck. Slices it. Falls to the ground, choking on blood and dies. The DA come in right after finding out that he got stabbed. And they're trying to figure out who did it. And they're crushing all the prisoners. Sax leaves. John leaves. But Angela looks at him like, that was for Greg. Cause she knew what she was doing. Will Teresi and Tommy meet up? Will Raina and Tyreek switch schools before one of them dies? Will Angela? be the new head district attorney for the police organization. Will Kanan start putting some moves to kill Dre? Will Ray Ray and Brains ever find Tyreek? Find out next time on Power Season 4, Episode 9.